Hey everyone, welcome back to the Beamer Barn. In today's video, we're gonna be fixing one of the E39's biggest flaws in my opinion, and that is we're gonna be doing a very cool USB power retrofit in the back of the car. Can't wait to show you guys what I've done, and so let's go right into today's video, and remember to drop a like if you enjoy this sort of content, and subscribe if you haven't yet. Let's get to work. So here inside of my E39, I'm gonna tell you exactly what my gripe is. There's only one cigarette lighter for the E39. It's right up here. And as you can see, it's got a little blank in there. But if you put something in it, like this USB adapter, well, you get one charging port. Problem is now when you wanna go into a uh, more low key mode, you can't exactly close that. And if you take it out, then you're left with this to worry about. So you have to take your USB charger and put it somewhere else and it's gonna dangle around. And I just really don't like the idea of only having one cigarette lighter because if you have to have multiple passengers in the car with you or you need to power a radar detector as well as charge your phone then you're kind of left with not a lot of options you're gonna have to do one or the other now here in the back of the car we get a better idea of what functionality we get from this center console here it does provide the AC to the rear passengers and it also has this small cubby here depending on what option your car came with from factory it could also come with I believe a set of cup holders and I think those are the only two options uh, there was also a set of cup holders that would lay right here on the pillar that would go into this little cubby hole uh, but basically it's it's pretty shallow in here you know you can you can shove a couple of receipts maybe but there's not a lot of room doesn't provide a ton of functionality so I decided to come up with my own solution where we could replace this with something that provided a ton more functionality for us in the front of the car as well as our rear passengers and let me show you guys what I came up with so here's my solution it's a rear center console USB retrofit now it's made up of a couple of different parts here it is hand assembled you can see there's epoxy on the back there and the front plate here is 3d printed using a cool technology called SLS 3d printing they don't use like a filament like standard 3d printing uses but instead there's a chamber that holds sand or what I call moon dust and a laser that comes and melts it into certain shapes layer by layer and it creates objects out of that dust and what's cool is that it doesn't have any markings that would indicate that it's 3D printed. Whereas a standard 3D printed object, you could clearly see where the 3D printer was and what route it took and what shapes it made. And it just overall has a cheaper feel to it. So I was able to kind of create this product here. The uh, power inverter is something that I found off of Amazon. And I used a model that I modified off of Thingiverse. So because of that, I'm gonna go ahead and release this model on Thingiverse as well. And if you have a 3D printer and you wanna make one of these at home, you can. But if you don't have access to a 3D printer, I'm gonna have these available as a kit on my website for sale. So if you wanna do this exact retrofit that we're doing today you can go ahead and buy one of these from me it would help support the channel and you'll have a really cool usb charger now and your e39 so without further ado let's go ahead and start taking apart the center console i'm going to show you guys how we're going to tap this 12 volt source in and then we'll soon have this thing routed and installed and charging our phone so we're going to start back here and we're going to start by removing this cubby you just simply pull it out it's real easy and then we can go ahead and also remove the AC vent and kind of lay this aside. And now you'll see that we have plenty of room here to be able to install our inverter and then get the wires routed to the front of the car. So now we're gonna move up to the front. We're gonna go ahead and take out the little storage cubby. You can see we've got access now to this AC vent. So we're really close to where the wires are for the rear console. And then the next thing is we're gonna go ahead and take off our shift boot as well as our shift knob so we can get more access and eventually we'll be able to to get to the 12 volt wires for the cigarette lighter that are right up here. Jeez, that never goes off smoothly. So with the center armrest removed, you can now go ahead and get the two screws for the trim piece up here. And there's also some up here. And unfortunately mine came apart in a couple of pieces because uh, it is old E39 stuff. I guess I should probably keep my eye out. And I have been, I've been looking on the junkyards to see, but all the E39s at the junkyards are in worse condition. Um, anyways, once we've got all that stuff out, you should be able to see the connector for your 
uh, cigarette lighter, which is right here. And this is the wires that we're gonna tap into. It's a constant 12 volt source. So keep in mind that if you were to leave something in a cigarette lighter, you know, it would drain your battery. So if you left something in the USB charger, you would drain your battery like that too. Uh, of course, you know, just charging your phone once isn't gonna drain the battery, but if you leave like a portable heater or something, for example. So we're gonna tap into these two wires, but first let's go ahead and install our USB plate back here and then we'll be able to uh, get the wires up here. So we're gonna go ahead and tuck this just kind of like this for now because uh, this is basically the last step of reinstalling everything for the center console. Right now, let's go back up to the front and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how easy to tap these wires in. So up here, we're gonna go ahead and use these inline splice connectors. You'll see that one side is closed off and one is open. So you're gonna go ahead and put the cigarette power wire in the open side, and then we'll take the end of our red wire and we'll put it on the other end. And then we're gonna squeeze this together so that it creates a connection, basically a bridge. And we'll do that for the power and the ground. And that's gonna power the inverter, which is gonna give us that USB power at the back. So let me show you guys how that's done. So now with these connections made, we can go ahead and test out our USB circuit. So I'll grab my little cable here and we'll connect it up. And now when we connect our USB to our phone, we see that the phone is charging. So that is exactly what we wanna see. Now we can go ahead and reassemble everything here in the center console and we'll be able to see the final product. So here we are at the final step, just tucking these wires in and you'll see that there's a little edge here on the base plate that locks into your AC duct and you go ahead and push in on both sides. And just like that, once you've got it nice and snug, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's locked into place and you've got two new USB ports to charge whatever items you and your rear passengers need. And it's really cool to have access in the back here because of course, if you're gonna road trip with friends, you've got these USB ports. But most importantly for me, from the front of the car now, it's still 100% OEM. And if you need an extra charging cable, it'll route from the back up here into the front of the car, which is a lot cleaner than having a cable will come out of your cigarette lighter and dangle on either side of the center console and just make a mess. So this is a really cool retrofit. I can't wait to use it on a lot of road trips and just powering whatever I need back here. And I hope that you guys enjoy this sort of thing as well. So go ahead and check out the description down below if you wanna grab one of these retrofit kits yourself for your E39. I'm gonna be hand assembling them and every order that you place for these things helps support our channel and our goal to create more BMW content for you. If you enjoy this sort of stuff, please leave a like down below. Comment if you have any recommendations on what sort of products you would like to see designed custom for the E39 or 3D printed out of this really cool SLS printer. And so Subscribe to the channel if you're new and you haven't yet. As always, I hope everyone has an awesome day and we'll see you next time.